welcome back to Finnish Flies. What I'm going to be doing uh, tying today is a variation of a, a pattern that my good friend Jerry Taggart tied, which was the Blood Olive. So what we're going to do, we're going to be using a size 10 wet style hook. We're just using this fire orange thread. What we're going to do is just create a wee hot spot at the back of the fly bag, just bringing the thread back and coming back up. Next thing we're going to do is the tail and I'm going to be using fluorescent tippet. So we take a bunch and tie that in. I like to tie this with just the bar showing. So catch that in, like such. Next thing we're going to be putting in is the rib. And I'm just using an oval gold tinsel. So just catching that in, just to the end. Trim off the waist. Next thing, where to put the body. I'm just using the gold glister, so I'm going to catch that in, dub it onto the thread, slide him up, one turn just to catch him in and then just tighten that dubbing up. I'm just going to bring that up the hook like such. Just catch him in. Next thing going in is the body hackle and this is a Pickwick olive saddle so we're just going to catch that in four turns coming backwards I'm just going to catch them in four turns of the over silver trim off all the waist. Once you've got him in, we're going to put the under hackle. This is just a red dyed hen. So catching that in. Trim off the waist. We just want a couple of turns of this here, that's all. So just sweeping the hackles backwards. Wind that in, just two turns, okay, set in, turn off the waist, just straight the hackles backwards, catch him in, just sit in there, sit in the back nice and properly. Next thing to go on is the wing, and I always say if you're using bronze mallard, always try to go for a good quality. It's easy, easier to work with. So we take a strip off, we're going to trim off the waist. And when I tie the wing in on these here, what I like to do is fold that wing into the middle, the other end, fold it into the middle, and then when you've got it in there, just going to fold them in half again. So you just created nice good strong wing. Coming back to the tail, catch him in, pinch and loop and secure that in. Once he's in, just, just trim it off like such. To finish off the fly, just put in the jungle cock cheeks. So hold him one side, bring the thread over, fold the jungle cock, just catch him in, like such. The reason of the uh, black glister, sorry, the gold glister, while we use this here, um, it's really well known that gold in peaty water tends to get that olive colour. So we've been using this here on the locks for a while and it's really productive fly. So when we build up the head, we're just going to whip finish this off. So basically now you've got the fly there with two wee hot spots on the head and the tail, plus the addition of the fluorescent yellow tippet. So we just put number one clear varnish, a couple, two or three coats. And there's the 
your Bob's your uncle is this done so thank you to Jerry Taggart for uh, showing me this pattern on the dabbler style and say we've just gone and uh, done it on an olive version so say we're in Ireland happy wrappings <laughs>